Hello, I'm Roger Owens. How am I staying open to God these days? Just a few days ago in a course I teach at the seminary, I heard a student preach a sermon on the Israelites crossing the River Jordan into the Promised Land. And the student quoted a song. Every new beginning comes from another beginning's end. And I thought, isn't that true? beginnings, endings, transitions. It always seems like we're someplace in between. And it's never more true than in this time of a pandemic, when we're asking, when will this end? Uh, when will things open up? Will there be a new beginning? We're stuck in the middle. Fortunately for us, our God specializes in transitions. God promises to be with us wherever we are on our journeys. And that's where our spiritual practices come in. They don't get God here. They don't convince God to show up. We don't need to do that. They help us to be open and available and responsive to the God who is already here with us on our journey. In this time of pandemic, in the time of fear and uncertainty, for me, it's been really important to keep things simple. My daily practice of, of silence, for instance, just 15 or 20 or sometimes 30 minutes if I'm lucky. Being alone with God, I sit down in my lazy boy with no agenda. And I say, God, here I am, here you are, how wonderful. And also listening to God speak through the stories of scripture in these last weeks, the, the post-resurrection stories have been so important. And taking walks, for me walking is a spiritual practice. It helps me stay connected to God's wider world, to stay connected to the world outside of my narrow concerns. Just a few days ago, I was taking a walk down this street about a half a mile away and I could smell lilacs, but I couldn't see them. And I walked for another quarter of a mile and there they were, the, the breeze had carried their scent to me. And I stuck my nose in one of the, the cones of blossoms and I smelled their fragrance and it almost brought me to tears. God is here. A pandemic can't extinguish God's beauty and grace from this world. And our practices, our simple rhythms of prayer can help us to stay open to that at the beginnings and at the endings and anywhere in between. God is here. God bless you.